Right, we're back again. Been less than five minutes. This one, this batch, has dropped, the head has dropped almost completely out. It may have something to do, it has natural oak extracts in this one. So that may have something to do with it. As you can see, it is up at nearly 22 litres. So when we pitch the yeast, there won't be so much left that we have to pitch to uh, bring it up to 23 litres. So I'll show you this. I've just clipped you in, I'll one clip you again. So as you can see, the yeast is pretty much going like the clappers. There's bubbles coming up all over the place and it's almost forming a head already. Which it will form within the first it should form a crowsen within the first 24 hours of pitching, it normally does. So I'll give it a right good stir up. You want to separate as much of the yeast as possible, because it does like to come to together. So the more you whip it up, more yeast goes into suspension and that then sets the brew off as quick as possible, less likely, far less likely for an infection. You know that yeast is up and kicking and as soon as that takes a hold, nothing else will get hold in the beer. So, that's 22 and a half litres. Top it up to 23 litres. And I was going to say, whack the lid on. No. Whack the light toast oak chips in. So. Smell like wood. It probably tastes like wood. Possibly oak. Yeah. Like chewing on a piece of furniture. Mm. So, get that flavour in mind. I'm not just going to sprinkle them on top, I'm going to stir them in because you've paid for it, you want that flavour in the beer as much as possible. So I'll just stir them in lightly. Because if anything they're going to rise to the top and uh, end up in probably in the Krausen ring. So, I'm suspecting that if it didn't have natural awkward extract in the kit to begin with, I don't think the chips are going to do all that much difference. Because you could actually smell, it smells a bit woody. When I was making it, when I was, and so it's got hot oaked malt extract. I may in the future do one, well, it depends if it's a good beer. I may do one without putting the oak chips in, and then I'll have two lots of oak chips, and if it's good just to see if it makes a difference. Right, enough of that. I'll 
I'll do a separate taste testing video because I think this is going to be far too long as it is. So like, comment and subscribe. Cheers and I'll see you next time. Bye. Almost forgot the hydrometer reading. So and a jug full of wort. This may be a little bit of a pain because there's bits of wood chip in it. Perhaps do the hydrometer reading before putting the wood chips in. Perhaps it won't matter. It won't. I'm trying to get that one out now. It won't really matter. We'll be floating around. So. Add a quantity of wort. final jar, put the thermometer in the rest of the jug full, just then it brings it down to temperature quicker. What is the ABV on this one? Approximately 4.5, so probably around the 1046 mark. Expect that approximately 4.5 ABV, unless it has a lower or, or a rather higher ending gravity, it might do because this is around about 1056, I think, 54 perhaps. About 105.4. I'll just try and show you that uh, while it's spinning. You do want to spin it to make sure there's no bubbles on your hydrometer. Pauses as it goes round. Well, my hand's not shaking too much. So about 1054, which for a four and a half percent beer, I think that's a, a little bit of a high original gravity. I'm sure it's 23 litres. You normally are. Brewing instructions might tell us. Oak tail. Bring the volume up to 23 litres. Yeah, so it's a 23 litre kit, as I thought it would be. Original gravity seems to be a little bit high. Don't know, we'll see. I'll take the temperature, I won't bother you with that. So, next one, taste test. And I probably won't bother filming transfer to the barrel. You know how to siphon. If you don't know how to siphon, put it in the comments below. I'll do you a siphoning video. In fact, might even try the auto siphon, not the auto, just well, maybe not try the auto siphon, but might give another stab with the auto siphon, see if I can reassemble it, see if it impresses me any more than it didn't the first time. Right. Apologies about that, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye. Right, it's really, 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 really into the last update. Just thought I'd mention it. 
That, including all the faffing about filming and messing about, has taken just under an hour to put on. So, normally, I could barrel one batch of beer and put another batch of beer on in that sort of amount of time. That is why I use these kits for the majority of my beer. Yes, it would be nice to do all grain all the time. I do not have the time to dedicate a full day to brewing beer nearly every week. That's why I'm always drinking homebrew, because I do kits. You'll see a lot of these people who are adamant that all grain is the whole way, and then they're drinking beer from a can. Good beer, on draft, brewed myself from a kit all the time. I don't bother, for the majority of the time, I don't bother with cans or bottles that are expensive because I've got my own on tap. Right, enough of that. Bit of a rant. Right, cheers. Like and subscribe. Bye. Thoughts with giving, I'll make it worth your while. Don't